Hey YouTube land, so this morning we are out here to check out this unit. Let me bring it closer. This is a tiny 40 gram GPS unit for the RC hobby. What does that mean? What that means is you can stick this GPS on an RC car to see how fast it goes. In reality, it will check the peak speed. You could stick it on your car that you're driving around on and it will give you all the GPS points. If you connect it to a computer, it will record your entire drive for two and a half hours and give you all the GPS points. You can stick it on a drone and see how fast your drone's going. You can stick it on a drone and see how high your drone goes or an RC plane or an FPV quad. So in this video, I'm going to stick it on a few things and uh, check out how good it works. Here we go. All right. So the first thing I'm going to stick it on is my X max. Let me just grab the camera so you can see it right here. I'm going to uh, have a piece of Velcro down here and I'm just going to pluck, stick it on the Velcro and we're all set to go. Right back here is my on off button to turn it on and off. And right over here is the start recording button. Right there you see a bunch of numbers. As it acquires the GPS, that's gonna change to the actual time it is right now. There you can see the time, it is 8.41. And I'm gonna hit this, this is the record button. Record and uh, it's starting to record the GPS signal. Okay, here we go. Let's take it as fast as we can from there all the way over to the other end and then back and see what our peak speed is. It's not gonna go super fast because we are on wet grass. It's not gonna get a lot of traction. It has to be on pavement to get peak speed. Here we go. Can you see it away down there? I'm gonna bring it back full blast. Here we go. It's coming back. Full blast, full blast, here it comes. Brakes, whoa! <laughs> oh, I'm so dangerous. So that went flying off, let's see how good that is. And there goes my GoPro flying off. There's my car down here. <laughs> All right, okay, don't put the brakes on. Well, at least the lights are still working. All right, let's check out what the peak speed was. Okay, first thing I do is hit the enter. Can you see that? There's a lot of glare Can you... on my camera here. First thing I do is hit the enter button and that should stop everything. Let's hit the mode button and let's see what the peak speed was. Peak speed, don't know if you could see it on there. It's 61, there we go, 61 kilometers per hour. So it's only 40 grams, so it should be okay. Okay, that will come off. Jacques has been so kind to let me put this on his plane and uh, we're gonna see how it works for speed and altitude. So, uh, oh, I'm on the wrong side. So again, let's power this on. I've got water all over this thing. So once again, now that we see the time, I'm gonna hit the enter and it's gonna say record. And it says record. So that means, Jacques, I'm gonna get my stuff out of the way and you can fly this baby. You weren't kidding when you said you were going to go straight up and do flips. Dive to the ground, get some speed. It's supposed to gather peak altitude as well. So if you go up high. There you go. You're going up way high up there. I don't know if you can see that, but that is high. Well, bring it down anytime. We'll check out what your, your speed was and everything, your, your peak. All right, he's coming down for landing. Nice. All right, let's check out what it says. So, all right, Jock, are you ready? I'm gonna hit enter to stop. There we go. Now I hit mode and let's see what it says. Your top speed. Holy crap, your top speed was 98 kilometers an hour. Really? Yeah, that's what it says. It did 98 kilometers an hour. That is fast. It shows me your peak altitude was 206. So altitude right now, it's telling me we're at 90 meters. That's why. So you subtract. Yes. So that sounds perfect. So when I say, yeah, 206, take off 90. There you go. So that was your altitude. That makes perfect sense. Exactly what it was. Yeah. Thanks Jacques for that because now we know it works. <laughs> right. I'll take this off. Try not to damage his plane. All right. Uh, sorry, Jacques. All right, so I'm back. So what did you think of this little GSM-015 GPS unit here? Let me get in the center of the frame. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm gonna use this in the future, probably on some of my drones, because uh, you know manufacturers say how fast a drone is, but unless you put a GPS on it, you never know if they're telling the truth. So you might see me in a future video where I'm testing out speeds of drones. I was gonna put it on my little quad today and fly it around, 
but uh, it's so cold out here that one of my ESCs is not working on the quad. So what I'm gonna show you next is an unboxing. And in that unboxing, I'm gonna have close-ups of all the details about this here little unit and tell you what all the buttons do and all the features of this. So stay tuned for that. This thing I believe is on sale and it's from Banggood and the links are below where you can pick one up uh, out here at the field with all the guys with RC planes. It's pretty popular since everybody now wants to know how fast their planes go. So you can see this can be a unit that uh, could come in pretty handy and it is quite durable you saw it in the crash of my little x max big x max and uh, it survived and the x max is okay too all right so stay tuned for the unboxing and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i appreciate it and uh watch the unboxing then i'll catch you in another video more reviews coming on the way take care this is the part of the video where we're going to do the unboxing so let me open it up inside you get a usb cable for charging you get the instructions and finally you get the tiny unit let's just pull the plastic off the front so it's shiny new all right let's take a really close look at this unit right here so we have our lcd screen on the front no other buttons on the front let's go to this side this is an external power source uh, you'll probably never use that if you wanted to keep it running forever and ever without the battery here Here's your turn the unit on button. So that's the on off switch. Over here is your enter key and there's your mode key and go around to this side and that's where you're going to charge it with the USB charger and in the back is a 200 milliamp battery that is replaceable. See if I can yank that off. There we go. I have it open. There's your little battery and you can see that you could replace it if you wanted to with another one. So you could have several charged and just keep replacing them to keep the unit going. Operating time on this unit is 150 minutes. It does have GPS and GLONASS and it can measure your top speed average speed and top altitude let's turn it on quickly and i'll show you the features hold down the on off button and let's see if you can see the screen the screen is designed so that if you stick it on top of something like velcro it onto something when you look at it with your eyes if you look straight down it's dim but if you look at an angle because that's what it expects you'll look at an angle looking down it's very bright so you can see on the top left that's your battery that huge 8000 is just because that is the actual time when it gets a GPS signal, that will change to your current time. It gets it from the GPS satellite. So right now I'm in my basement, so you can't see at the time. I'm gonna hit the mode button, we'll go through. That is your speed, hit it again. And we're gonna get our peak speed. So the fastest we can go, hit it again. And we're gonna get our average speed. Next we're on altitude. And that would be our peak altitude, the highest we could possibly get. That's our trip meter. And these would be your longitude, latitudes. And we should be heading back to the beginning. You can change the information from metric to imperial if you wish. And the great thing is, is that with this USB port right here, you can send the information to your Mac or PC and run a piece of software which looks like this this is what the software interface looks like and it's for your pc or mac and it's basically so that if you want to record information along your journey say you have an rc car a plane a boat a drone and you're flying or driving for 20 minutes and you want to record the distance the height the speed then you can and it will show all the points along the 20 minute or 30 minute journey in this software that's pretty much it you can only use this outdoors of course it says the very first time you use it you put it outdoors and it takes about maybe one to three minutes to get a gps signal then after that it remembers where you are and anytime you use it afterwards it knows what part of the world you're in and it will work almost instantly all right hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to put links below to where you can find this product it's not very expensive and you'll see me use it in future videos if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up please i would appreciate it and we'll catch you in the next video with more reviews